G'day viewers, well for today's little autopsy we've got a typo flip clock. I uh, got this about two years ago as a Christmas present and the problem with it is that it's very inefficient in terms of power. It just takes two AA batteries but it goes through literally the whole about four sets of two in about a week. So it's way too inefficient to be able to use as a desktop clock. So I figured I may as well open it up and see how it works. There we go, it's very simple in the way it works. It's just a normal uh, clock motor on one end. And all it's doing is actually driving these two drums here which have actually got the numbers attached. And every time it flicks over, it's just dropping these down. It's got two little uh, levers at the back where you can actually set the time manually. Um, and so every time I push it, it's letting go this little lever and letting the drum move by one flap at a time. It's a very simple uh, form of like a digital clock, but without using a vacuum fluorescent display or an LCD panel. Uh, it's just the wires for the battery, I'll try and get them off. So we can get it clear. And, yeah, there's a lot, lot less in it than I actually thought there was. You can actually see these flaps are individual. And each side corresponds to its opponent side. And that's what makes each number. Uh, take a bit more off and see if I can get these out individual. I always thought, see what happens if I could spin one up on that VCR motor and see if I could make the numbers fly off it. That'd be kind of fun. So it's opened a bit further and they've, each of these, this is the hour um, side, and they've actually got very small ratchets that fit into these little locks here. If I can find out how to... There we go. As it uh, pulls out, basically what it's doing is letting the wheel just jump forward by one each time it's clicked. And that's what's causing it to move. It's kind of neat, really, the way they all fall apart like that. And then there's the minute one, which has got very small ratchet on. It's also got this uh, single-toothed uh, locking wheel, which I'm guessing fits into that bit of plastic there. Yeah, that's it there. So that controls the minute one and lets the whole thing rotate to set the hour. Very simple. Uh, it's a pity it didn't work properly. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the end of that one. I'll keep these for, I don't know what, maybe I'll use them for something. But uh, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and that's the end of that Philips monitor. I couldn't really be bothered trying to fix it, so it got the chop. Thanks for watching.